okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a battery is used to charge fully through uh, to charge a capacitor fully through a resistor of resistance r the energy supplied by the battery is eb the energy stored in the capacitor is ec what is the relationship between eb and ec now uh, it's like kind of clear here there, there's no doubt about that uh, that obviously the energy stored in the capacitor will be far lesser than the energy provided by the battery so the energy provided is eb so eb will be greater than ec there is no doubt that answer will be c because there will be losses in the resistors so but there is one more point that i wanted to make here and that is why i am doing this question so you see even if the resistance is not there then what like if there is only this capacitor and there is this battery but the resistance is not there now tell me if this is eb and the energy stored in the capacitor is ec what do you think what will be your answer now because the resistance is not here now so in this case you might feel that eb will be equal to ec but even in this case that is not correct the correct answer will be c even without the resistance and why is that because even in this case i tell you like if the energy stored is half cv square the energy provided by the battery is cv square so energy provided by the battery is double the energy which is stored in the capacitor this can be proved with the concepts of physics and all the integration and calculus kind of thing i'm not doing that for you but i'm going to tell you that this is double the energy that has to be released by the battery and half of the energy will be stored in the capacitor now the question is where is the other half gone obviously the other half is lost but where in sparking so whenever you are working with the capacitors and whenever you would be uh, switch you there, there will be switch and you are going to close the switch at that time sparking will take place 50% of the energy will be lost in the sparking and unfortunately you can't even get rid of the spark well that is the case that when you are working with the capacitors and others 50% of the energy will be lost when you are plugging the capacitor with the battery itself sparking you can't get rid of that it is bound to happen so your answer will be eb greater than ec every time whether there is a resistor or whether there is not okay dear students so this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also join the youtube channel if you want to access the paper 2 question with a similar kind of explanations all the best bye